Pearly McPherson was a great storyteller and he swore this one was true. He was a working conductor on his 53rd birthday back in 1942. Mrs. Muntz in coach was very pregnant and it seemed like her time was due. This baby's gonna arrive before the train. That was Pearlie's view. Well, the best birthday presents, they're always surprises, Pearlie said to his passenger crew. Mrs. Muntz in coach, she's puffing like a loco. Here's what we've got to do get soap and towels and boiling water then let's say a prayer or two go oh, and make up a birth cause we're gonna have a birth before this run is through now a check of the passenger list it led pearly to a nurse named betsy firth Come quick, he said, we got a new arrival coming here to planet Earth. Mrs. Muntz in coach, she sounds like she's dying instead of giving birth. Well, that's just her freedom that's dying, said the nurse. Honey, push for all you're worth. And that baby girl, she came ahead and out as the train was heading in. Pearly cleaned and he wrapped and he cuddled her. She had a dimple on her chin. Little lady, this is our birthday, he said, and what a gift conducting you in. Get conducting why you're a born doctor, said the nurse with a sly little grin. Bill Weeby. She's a rider without a ticket, Pearly said, but it's okay this once. May I please name my daughter in your honor, said the grateful Mrs. Muntz. Well, now surely you won't call her Pearly, he said. No, I couldn't take that blame. That's how Shirley McPherson months came to get her name. True story. Thank you very much for the Kettle Valley Breakman. Good night.